In the middle of Minnesota, there is a house. Here is where a man named Sinclair Lewis grew up. Across town, there is a museum devoted to the memory of him and his work. Who is Sinclair Lewis? He was born Harry Sinclair Lewis in Sock Center, Minnesota, my hometown, on February 7, 1885, to Edwin Lewis, a strict disciplinarian doctor, and Emma Lewis, who died in 1891. While his father was often busy with his work as a country doctor in his office, Lewis would spend some of his time with his stepmother, Isabel Warner, whom his father married the year after his mother died. Throughout his boyhood, the thin, unathletic, red-haired Lewis had trouble making friends and relating to his two older brothers. He spent much of his time in his room. He enjoyed playing chess, sledding down Hoboken Hill, walking along the railroad tracks where he would carve his name into a bridge just outside of town, and listening to stories of family relatives that came to stay in their guest bedroom. He would often listen in on the literary conversations of his stepmother's club from the stairway around the corner. He attended Sock Center High School and graduated in 1902. He left home for Oberlin Academy and went to Yale University the next year where he published his first creative work, a collection of poetry and sketches, and became editor of the Yale Literary Magazine. After graduating from Yale in 1908, Lewis worked for newspapers and publishing houses. He also earned money by selling popular stories to magazines and selling plots to Jack London. He published his first book in 1912. Lewis married Grace Livingston in 1914. Their marriage would end in divorce in 1925 and would result in one son. In 1916, then living in Washington, D.C., Lewis began his work on Main Street, a critical novel about small-town life that was based on Sock Center. After being published in 1920, it was a massive success. It would become his most famous work. Lewis would continue his success through the decade with Babbitt, Aerosmith, Elmer Gantry, and Dodsworth. He was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Aerosmith, but refused it because he felt his earlier work was more deserving of it. He married Dorothy Thompson in 1928. They had one son and divorced in 1942. The high point of Lewis's career in life was when he became the first writer from the United States to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1930. In the later years of his life, Lewis would write 11 more novels and many short stories, as well as dramatic interpretations of his novels. He suffered from alcoholism until he died of it in January 10, 1951, in Rome. His cremated remains were buried in Sock Center. Sinclair Lewis was a great author whose critical writings about small-town life, American culture, and capitalism greatly influenced American society. He is not well remembered in American culture, but remains a hometown hero, a shy local boy who rose to become a national icon and a global figure. <laughs>